Okay, I'm just gonna load my uh, van. Got inspection to do. So this is what I have. I can actually take the bolts, four bolts here off. Hmm. Very heavy steel. So anyways, uh, got some bottles here. Get rid of those first. Bar chairs where I can't lift them. You see my nightclubs. I'm actually, gonna put them over here. This is I'm dumping this garbage later. Put it over here. with aluminum being really high you have to look at all angles to get extra steel all steel only thing that's cast is this little center but it's not worth it if I have time today I can load the bin up as much as I can it's kind of priority How heavy this thing is? 20 pounds? I don't know why. Usually there's a tiny little mortar, but it's a steel. Yeah, usually it's just a tiny mortar, but I think that one has more than one mortar or something in there. later maybe and dump the glass put a tarp down smash it roll the tarp up and put it to a garbage can it's the only way you can do it that's a nice thing about tempered it goes it goes into a million pieces like this is heavy just this alone but mostly glass Reach out of here. Heavy. Got weight. But like it's pretty bulky, right? A lot of air in here.
Anyway. Looks like there's a raccoon or a raccoon, I mean squirrel hiding in this thing. It's all full of nuts. That's why it's probably heavy, it's full of dirt. Let's scrap of the wing is. Anything that's heavy, I might scrap. Anything that's light, like this is light, it's not worth it. Even this is almost not, probably not worth it. Because, but you know, you only get maybe one or two ounces of copper if you're lucky. I'm gonna eat cents a pound as a whole item. You know, cents, if you know what I mean. So. You know, six, seven pounds versus then I have to dump all the plastic myself. These things. Printer. These things. So if we print your own, open that one up. There'll be a board on the bottom side. It's an HP, but it's pretty heavy, so when something's heavy, you know. Might be good inside. Okay, I need to move this over. This might be able to get away with HMS. Well, it's, it's clean steel, so not like something's so dirty. This is clean. Steel, I believe. Okay, so this is aluminum. This is stainless. It's all stainless. Doors. Well, it's got glass, but it's not just glass. It's made to be strong because you open them a hundred times a month, right? Or more. Every day you're opening it probably for cooking. Very sure. Yeah, sure. If the weather stays good, if I have an inspection, that's a problem. I could, I could get lots done in my yard. It's holding me back big time. are stuck. Don't take the mortar off for sure. I'll dump the gas tank plastic. Put the mortar off. Cord. What's in here for See, this is a typical East Indian what they do is uh, they have their all the different spices and different things or candies and stuff and you just go like this spices or candy but these are guaranteed stainless steel that's not probably not that cheap to buy that i see it all the time i do demos and stuff i leave it behind quite often but usually east indian spices and so on over here so let's get mixed up Probably at least a couple pounds. A couple pounds of stainless steel at least. So it adds up pretty quick. It's probably just steel. Ok, 
Okay, so let's go to this inspection. 1922 house. Okay, it's not mine. Okay, I'm in a nice area here. Uh, New Westminster. Uh, a lot of old heritage houses here, but the values are pretty high now. Used to be cheap one time, but this house here is uh, uh, 1.2 million value, 50 by 130 lot, pretty big, 1922. Um, got a nice yard here. Make a good yard for uh, metal detecting. Quite nice, actually. Some wood shake, some painted. Pretty nice. Almost looks like new siding, almost the way, it, the way it's cut. Like that's old, that's new. You can tell the difference. The old stuff's different. Pretty low ceilings downstairs, I believe, with this narrow door like that. Um, no storage in the back here, I haven't checked yet. I did a brief walk through, but I didn't go downstairs yet. Just was curious on. Uh, plywood. A little storage there, but nothing, nothing in there. All the windows have been changed to vinyl. Yeah, I have to try to get my melt detector going because there's a lot of neat stuff here. Neat properties here to hunt. Could be good. But it has a nice yard. It's a pretty big yard actually compared to what they are. Garage could be staying, but I'm not sure. Big rock. See the original uh, the new house is gonna be here, I think. Peg here already. That's the excavation probably from here. So it's probably gonna be a big house set back a little bit. Big rock. That was walk walk yards because I'm looking for minerals. The old house is uh garbage. The old houses guys could have been like miners or something could have minerals kicking around. Amethyst or petrified wood. So nothing here. Okay, we'll go uh garage. I think I'm not sure it's locked, but they may keep it. It's new anyways, it's been freshly built. Locked actually. Looks unfinished inside. They may tear it down or build a laneway house, I'm not sure. The garage is actually pretty decent. Okay. It's a pretty nice, well kept kind of house. Not too bad. Okay, we've got dining room here. They kept the old trim still. They took the stained glass out of here, which could have been at one time, but who knows. Living room. The bookcases are nice. Entry. Let's look at this way here from looking out. Okay, we've got one bedroom here. I don't know this ugly texture they put up there. And then they have another bedroom. These were pretty popular one time. This is not super old, I don't think, but it's like bottle bottoms, you know, for bottles. And then we have a bathroom. They throw out the cabinet here. Is, the old cabinet was here originally, see? Right there. Then you put uh, another big one around it. Carpet floors everywhere. There's the kitchen. The fridge was here originally. It's not bad, I guess. I thought this was a reno, but the it looks pretty original, so it's weird. 
I don't see that too often. It's all plaster up there. I thought it was going to be drywall. Hmm. Yes, cooktop. Okay, let's go downstairs. I haven't been down here yet, so we'll have to check it out. Steep stairway. This is actually kind of nice. Oh, look at this. Pretty basic down here actually. So ceilings are low. The ducting's low, but if you didn't have any ducting it would be a little bit wouldn't be too bad. But washroom here. Hmm. Oh nice washer and dryer. Maytag, well. Best thing in the whole house, I guess. I wonder if these are stainless steel. Nope. High efficiency. And dumping into the sink, I don't think you're allowed to do that actually. Or right, that's an overflow, so you're allowed to do that. So this is, um, so it's not a high efficiency, all it does is it's a blower here or something blows up the chimney I'm thinking but but high efficiency has a runoff the first high efficiency drains in to see that it creates an acidy water and it gets pumped out and that's high efficiency all been patched in the old furnace is patched in okay I guess we got a room here that's a nice thermostat actually. Nice closets here, look at that. Not bad. So they upgraded here for a bedroom. Oh yeah, they did a little bit of renovations. I always check these things out for so we'll see. For insulation and stuff and wiring and so on. Hmm. Weird, huh? So they divide the room off and they put this little closet in. Okay, so a pretty basic house. Not a lot to it. Definitely old house, but like I say, really nothing, nothing great. But it's not bad. One point two million. Got some asbestos duct tape. Okay, one point two million buys this house here in a nice area, fifty by one thirty lot, which is pretty good size, and it's pretty well lived in. It's pretty good, considering some of the houses I've seen. It's got character. It's still clean, it's got hardwood throughout, it's not that bad in general, but you know, it's a lot of value anyway, it's going to be torn down, doesn't matter they're going to build a nice big monster house, you're probably selling okay. I've got a filing cab here, oh it's actually wood oh that's no good, I don't want wood it's got a metal outside hmm. pass on it oh, don't want it Ha, huh. looks like an old one, but nope, don't want it. Put a metal here. It's everywhere. Okay. 
Probably barbecue goes too, probably, but I'm not gonna. That's actually metal here. For Halloween candle. Kinda cool. Okay, a little bit of time. The streets go up around. Maybe something will pop up around the area. There's an umbrella here. It's aluminum. Someone ditched it there. Italy. Well, yeah, it's almost aluminum. But see, I don't. Uh, if there's lots of garbage here, we'll take I would take that um, fabric off. But there's no garbage here, so I'd rather clean the area up. If you know what I mean. Soldier. Okay. That's good because it's aluminum. And the price is being so high; it's worth taking. Stuff is rolling around. So the vacuum system here. Is it plastic or something? It's half metal and half plastic. It's actually really heavy. I'll say close to 40 pounds. Huh. Well, it's with two power cords actually. It's got double mortar. Or something, a controller or something. Anyways, we shredded. It. It's all wood. It's actually uh, it's out of um, camper. I'm thinking or something or made to cook the furniture. I don't know, but I cut the cord off it. I'm taking it. It's all wood, really. All wood, wood and plastic, and just a couple things. Okay, let's see here. Plain view, rotors there. And there's a, a fuse box down here. Fuse box sitting right here. And some aluminum stuff in there. We'll see no copper. I just don't know about these things here. Oh well. We'll see small stuff, but uh, rotors are nice. Never noticed the alley here before, so maybe something will turn up. You never know. You never know what turns up. There was a bike there. Oh. Hmm. I was driving the front streets, nothing. This is the odd alley here. So, definitely a junker. Let's see what else is over here. It's getting dark quick. That's where you find, oh, there's appliance over there or something. Something white looking, maybe a freezer. Maybe not a freezer, what is it? Chuckboard? Hmm. I think it's chalkboards, I think. They got aluminum on the etchings boards but hmm. I don't deal with all this garbage it's problem pass 
this on it. If the garbage show weighs a scrap, it's not worth it. It's all really heavy particle board. So it's all water swelled. It weighs probably like 30 pounds of garbage there. If I was doing lots of garbage jobs, then I would take it, but I'm not doing much garbage. So then if I have to dump that, I have to pay for it. It's not worth it. Okay. Big frame here. It's actually locked up. It's in here for ages, looks like. Hmm. Tree's going in it. Okay. Lots of junk next door, but the guy's like a junk guy. Just way too much garbage, so I can't look at up another touching it in there. But he's got aluminum wheels in the yard outside the fence, but since he's a junk guy, you know, I'm not gonna bother. I know some guys are weird. Chairs here. It's actually pretty heavy for our chairs. Considering they're so small, right? Okay. Mattress probably been sitting here for. It's actually it is a mattress itself. Probably been sitting here for ages. Look how rusty it is. I hate taking those, but slim pickings. Okay. Shower doors. If I could just take them apart here or something. Let's see if I got a screwdriver. Didn't have a screwdriver, might work. She is the right one, but it's not coming out. So I get through here. Of course, she has to come. Of course, it's gonna come away. Sat there for so long. Yeah, I think I'm the right screwdriver. Take it off. No one didn't work. This one worked. Just have to take one side off and snap it. If it's easy. I'm just gonna do that thing to hate. Huh, part of for satellite hookup. Hardware. Some coins. 
Those kids' toys. Yeah. I hear a couple coins, but nothing major. We'll see.